Mira, mami. Tenemos problemas serios. Mira. Rompeo. Ese es el rompeo. Eso. Rompeo. Dame otro regalo. Original y chino. Original. De chino. Ya. Yeah. Rico Toro Ya yeah. Good night, mi gente Hope you're well Wherever you are How you like those lenses? How you like those shades? They were a replacement I had to demand a gift From someone that already brought me a gift of shades Because I broke two pair in less than a week I don't know how, you know, one pair, I just finished filming and set them down on the table. And the arm broke off. Anyways, so that's what it is. Stylish. I do say so myself. So jumping right and jumping right to the game. Short term game versus the long game. So... If you've been coming down here two times a year or more, or even if you only consistently come down for one week a year, but have been doing so consistently for a few years now, you know, you may have some steady contacts, some good reliable sources of ladies and company that you choose to spend your time with some of the time. So, when I first started coming down, I was all about the numbers, the volume, the bag and tag, no repeat. We had no repeat, no contact, you know, no keeping contact sort of uh, rules and stuff. Me and my boys, like, you know, you just, you know, you don't, you know, you know it's not love, you know it's just fun, it's the sport. Sport smashing, the hobbyists, if you want to call it that. So, we, you know, I was younger, had more energy, and, you know, new was always better. New was always more intriguing than someone I already knew. The familiarity, the quality of the familiarity, knowing what I'm going to get from someone was not as high of value, but it is now. And so tell you guys, like, especially you guys that, you know, I've been having a tough time as of late last few trips or recent, recent trips where your situations may have not went so smoothly. Maybe you've experienced some um, price gouging, price changing, bait and switch, you know, just not what you were expecting necessarily from someone. Maybe you met someone online and, you know, she showed up uh, 40 pounds heavier, three shades darker, or three shades lighter, or two feet shorter, two feet wider. You get it. Then you were expecting. So, you're gonna, you might see some value where I'm going with this. So, I think everybody should have, you know, there is value, there's definite value. Like, there's the excitement of new sometimes, breaks the monotony, breaks the boredom. But the value of something, you know, familiar, you know, is priceless to me. And, for instance, when I used to come down sometimes just like seven days a week, long trip. Maybe on like day two... I would have sort of a not so pleasant experience with someone. Maybe it's my own fault. Maybe I was too drunk. That's another thing. We have to take responsibility when it's our fault. If we're too intoxicated or if our expectations are too high or if we didn't spend a few minutes feeling them out before we pulled the trigger. 
those are all things that are our fault when things go wrong. So, anyways, after a bad experience, it's good to have someone, like, especially if your last night's coming up, and you just want, like, somebody tried and true that's not going to screw you over, that's going to bring the goods, bring a good quality experience, likes to drink how you drink, eat sort of like you eat. Like, if you're drinking rum or Presidente, you could easily make her a rum and coke or give her a Presidente. She's not gonna try to, she's not gonna try to drink Hennessy on you when you're not even drinking that for yourself. You know, just a regular easy, easy time, easy situation, familiar company. It's value in that. Or let's say you arrive and it's pouring down raining. You can't go out. Nobody's out. But you got that one go-to you could call. She remembers you. She's like, yeah, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. I'll um, I'll be right there. Give me 30 minutes. You know, it's pouring down raining. Um, you know, would you mind paying a taxi? Cause you know, I live in Congrejo or Montellano, a little bit away, it's pouring down raining, but I'll be there 30 minutes if you don't mind paying, you know, 500 pesos for the taxi or whatever. So, Daryl gets the gal. Whereas his friend, you know, Johnny and Jimmy and Hani and, you know, Mike and Stevie, they might be doing it out because they don't have any contacts they could call. See, it's another, another good thing about having some something regular. And it doesn't mean you gotta send money in between trips. I never ever, is God is my witness. It, God is my witness. I never sent money from the States to any woman here. You don't have to send money to maintain your status with them. They'll gladly pick up the phone when you arrive. They always do. And, but some guys feel like the only way to keep that, you know, keep them happy, to keep that option when they come to town is to send something. It's not true. Don't fall into that. If you want to help once in a while, that's on you. I am not gonna, somebody told me we should take it easy on the simps because, you know, um, a lot of people are lonely, suicidal, depressed. So, you know, we should take it easy on them. Well, my thing is, you know, I don't have any problem with anybody who wants to help somebody out as long as they don't have unrealistic expectations or any expectations in doing so. Help to help from the heart, not from, not with an ulterior motive. So, keep your contacts. Make a good contact or two. Keep their number, those that treat you well. You'll be glad you did. Or you could keep dabbling and going through some of the, some of the nonsense guys are going through now. You know, when you, are, when you are meeting somebody new, ask them where they live. Ask them where they're from and where they live. Where do you live? Like, sometimes they say they're from San Domingo, but they've li been living in Cheramicos for six years. Some of them say they're from San Domingo, and they're just going to be here three four, three, four days. The difference is, the one that's going to be here three, four days, she's in the Army. In the Army. She's here to be all she could be and make all she could make and take all she could take and go home and customer service future visit, repeat, satisfaction, is not in her game plan. She's got a short-term plan. Short-term game. She's working short-term game. So that's not in your best interest always. Don't look at it like you're here a short time and you got to have it. You know, from my experience, I always say this. You got the neighboring barrios. Barrio Barbies, Barrio Princess, Campo Cuties. In these neighboring areas, they're the ones, they're the ones that they'll be here. They'll be here when the streets dry up. You know, when the if they can't, if the buses for whatever reason, the the Caribbean tour bus you and 
Metro bus uh, unions decide to strike and they can't get here from Santiago, San Domingo. Compo cuties, barrio Barbies and princesses, they'll be just right over there, right to my left. To my left down Highway 5 a little bit, right over there, waiting for your call, if they're not already here with me. I'm just saying, it's good when they tell you, it's good when they tell you they're from somewhere close by. You know, ask the, as a taxi driver sometime, you know, if you're coming through this area, ask him like, what neighborhood's this? What area is this? That's, that's how I learned like the different, some of the names of the different places, like between Soso and Puerto Plata. I ask, like, oh, this is Matayano, okay. Oh, this is Congrejo, okay. Soso Bajo, Maranata. You know, and, and there's plenty of others, Los Costillos. Um, you know, those are good things to know and, and learn. So then when you meet someone, you're like, ah, okay, you live like 10 minutes that way. Okay, good to know. So, make your contacts. Long term. Long term game beats short term game for many obvious reasons. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something today. Rico Toro.